Anime. One's just that nerdy thing you discuss with your other nerdy friends in your school's otaku club. Now a global sensation which gains more and more popularity worldwide with each passing year. While the anime craze was once something to be mocked and ridiculed, it is now anime that inspires some of the most beloved cartoon creators in the industry. From the beginning of anime's breakthrough into the mainstream to now, anime parodies and references have been in abundance in western cartoons. These are my top 5. Garugamesh! Oh yeah! I love anime! Yeah. And manga! Oh, and gaming! Oh, yeah. During the early 2000s, the anime parody scene was dominated by Dragon Ball Z and Pokemon, as well as occasionally Speed Racer. Many sucked, some were okay, but in my opinion, the best thing to come out of it is a scene from the Codename Kids Next Door episode, Operation Report. So the members of the K&D fill a mission to steal pizza from the delightful children down the lane, and each member has to give a report on their failure. Each story is highly fabricated, and to illustrate this, they're told in a style of other cartoons, with number 4's story being based on Dragon Ball Z. Hand it over, delightful lawns, or face the wrath of number 4 go! This stands out of the crowd because it's hilariously accurate and it feels like more attention to detail went into getting it right than others that I've seen. Usually, DBZ references are pretty damn basic, with maybe the odd Kamehameha or Super Saiyan nod. While this one pays homage to Frieza, as well as takes place in a DBZ-esque wasteland setting, it's rare that these references feel like they know what they're talking about, but this felt like they truly went above and beyond for this dumb yet surprisingly awesome scene. Ah, crud. <laughs> South Park is no stranger to making fun of anime, and there are tons of episodes that were pretty decent contenders for making this list. However, they all pale in comparison to the anime references in Season 14, Superhero Trilogy. It sees Kenny as Mysterion trying to find answers about his curse. Meanwhile, Cartman as the coon joins forces with the ancient dark god Cthulhu, cause of course he does. And if these two don't totally scream Totoro and May to you, I don't know what to tell you. Really, I don't. Regular show is well known for doing crazy shit, but by far the craziest shit of all time comes in the form of the episode Brilliant Century Duck Crisis Special. The Crisis Special was the epic climax to an ongoing bitter rivalry between these awesome baby ducks and these lame fucking geese. Obviously, the natural combination of this was to have the regular show gang and the baby ducks pilot a motherfucking robot in the most tropey mecha battle ever. The episode was actually written by both Owen Dennis, the creator of Infinity Train, along with Toby Jones, who I know best for his work on OKKO. OK Apparently, they tried to make everything so overly cool that it'd be funny. In my opinion, it totally worked. Synergize this! There's a lot of references to anime in this episode, such as to Goron Lagan and Cowboy Bebop. But my favourite reference in the episode comes right at the start in the form of the intro, which parodies Evangelion's Cruel Angel's thesis. The Amazing World of Gumball is a show that pretty heavily relies on references for its humour. Nowadays, that may seem like a red flag as pop culture references are continually being looked down upon more and more as a trope. However, Gumball is a master of the arts and succeeds in being entertaining more often than not. Or maybe I just have shit taste, but whatever. Naturally, the show made a bunch of references to anime and even more niche parts of Japanese pop culture such as JRPGs and those crazy Japanese commercials. With that being said, none quite compare to this fight scene between Nicole Waterson and Yuki Nishida in The Fury, an episode which gives us a glimpse into Nicole's past as a martial artist. <laughs> yeah. 
This episode was the first time where I've seen a western cartoon pay homage to anime and almost do it better. This wasn't just a passing reference, but a whole ass fight scene that looked like it came right out of Kill a Kill. As a huge fan of Mikey Nell's What If the Amazing World of Dumble was an anime animation a few years prior, it was everything I had ever dreamed of and more. The majority of people seem to believe that Studio Trigger was the one to animate this scene, but no, that was originally the plan, but the job instead went to Studio 4C, who you might know for their work on Tech on Kinkreet. Pretty random, but honestly no qualms there. They did a fantastic job emulating Trigger's style, and Waifu Nicole is the stuff of dreams. And fantasies. Dark, dark fantasies. Internet, you disgust me. Are you searching your name online again? No, I've learned my lesson. Every time I close my eyes, I can still see those weird drawings of me. Also, it gets a ton of bonus points for the sick as hell flashback sequence that was drawn in the style of Akira Toriyama's original Dragon Ball series, which nobody but me ever remembers or talks about, but hey. Seeing as it's a cartoon that combines so many varying art styles, Gumball nailing anime was a no-brainer. Though what I think shocked the entire animation world was Animaniacs coming out with perhaps an anime parody even more badass. Yeah, to be honest, I feel like such a basic bitch for choosing this to be the winner. However, I think it totally deserves it. Honestly, I consider this scene to be one of the biggest factors in making the Animaniacs blow up as much as it has. In fact, I'm one of those people who found the show because of it. Not only is this scene beautifully animated, but just take a look at these designs. God, these designs. This was actually animated by the extremely talented Studio Yota, who I found out about from the OKKO OK shorts they did a while back, and who I've seen pop up everywhere since. Meanwhile, the designs themselves were done by in-house animators. One of the crew has stated on Twitter that Dot was inspired by Ryoku from Kill a Kill, and Yaku was inspired by Kamina from Gurren Lagann. The star of the show though is obviously Wako, who just has one of the most appealing character designs of all time. And those are my top 5 anime parodies or references in cartoons. Like the video if you enjoyed it, comment with your top parodies or references down below or complain about mine, and subscribe for more animation-related content from me in the future. See you next time. Fuck all you!